Hello, my name is Song Yin Chen, Tony Chen. I'm going to talk about computer science sorting algorithms in one video. The first one is called bubble sort. Okay. So I use my two fingers to sort them from small to the largest number. Okay. So seven is larger than four, so we swap. And then move here, and then now uh, we need to swap. Move here. We don't need to do anything. And this A is less than 10, so we need to swap. Okay, now move here, swap. Move here, swap. Okay, now 10 is done, we don't need to do the second round. Okay, here, start from here, we move. Swap them. No, okay, swap. Then here, no. Okay, here, I need to swap. Okay, now A is also done. Start from here again. Nothing. Okay, swap. Here. Swap. Okay. Now 7 is done, we'll move here. And then uh, we'll start from begin again. We need to swap. Okay, now we are all done. This is called a bubble sort. The second one is called selection sort. Okay, now put them in random again. So now we can uh, do the Selection. So we start from here and then we s select the uh, smallest number. Okay, and then uh, A is the smallest. So we swap these two. Okay, now we uh, move I to here and then we uh, select the smallest number. 2 is smaller than the smallest, so we swap this 2. Okay, and I'll move here, and then 4 is already smallest of this, so we don't need to move. And then move I here, and then we move from here. Okay, 6 is smaller, smallest, and then we swap. And then move here. Okay. They are greater than several, so we don't need to move. And then move here, and then we sort this through, and now we are done. This is called a uh, selection sort. Next one is the uh, insertion sort. Okay. Insertion, so the same, the I start from here, and then uh, we uh, see it is, if uh, 10 is more than 2, no, we don't need to move, and then until we move here, okay, we find A is less than 2, and then we move everything, and then move A is here. Okay, and then we uh, move increment I to here, and then we st start to find everything there. Okay, nothing is less than 2, so we do nothing, and then move I here. And 10 is, everything is less, less than 10, so we move everything here. And then uh, move 10 here. Now we move. A here, uh, the I to 8. Now we compare everything, and these two are smaller than A, so we need to move, and then swap A to here. Now everything uh, is in, in order, so this is called insertion sort. 
Next one is the merge saw. Merge saw is a uh, is a recursive sorting. So we keep dividing these numbers into uh, two parts, okay, and then we divide again the two parts, and then eventually we divide them all into uh, all single car. Now we start comparing, okay, but we need to uh, put them into the, the model first. Okay, okay these two compare, um, so we need to move, swap. And then these two compare, we, we don't need to move. And then these two we need to swap. Okay. Now we need to compare this group and this group. And two compared to one, as we need to swap. Okay. And then now we compare four to two, and then we need to swap. Okay, so these are done. And then here we don't need to move anything uh, for these two. But seven to six, we need to swap. Okay. Now we compare, we have two groups now. Now we compare this one to this, 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 don't need to move. No move, no move. Okay, number 10, we compare to this, then we need to move. Swap, okay. And then we uh, compare this, and then we need to swap. Now everything is in order. It's, uh, this is called merge sort. Merge sort is quicker than the last three. These two, the average sp speed is uh, n squared, so they kind of slow. And merge sort is n log n, the average, average speed. Uh, is uh, n log n, n log n is faster, faster than n square. The next one I'm going to talk about hip saw. Hip saw and the quiz saw, they are all uh, n log n uh, average uh, speed, so they are faster but more complicated to understand. Uh, hip saw, uh, we need to think about uh, the hip. Hip is a binary tree. Yeah. So computer science is a, is a virtual world, but we need to think about heaps or the binary tree. Even it's an array, we need to think about it's um, like a binary tree. So it's the virtual in the virtual. And first we need to build a um, hip tree, but they are still an array, but we think about their uh, hip tree. So from here, uh, we built two at the top, and then we have, okay, in this order. Okay, it's like a tree. And then we need to, uh, a function called hippified. We're going to do the max heap, means the top need to be the largest number. So we compare two and four, and then we need to swap. And then we compare two to seven, we need to swap. And then 10 to seven, we need to swap. This, this side the same, okay? Uh, this is called hippify. We need to swap. Okay. Uh, and then th this we need to swap. And this we need to, we need to swap. And then 10 and 8 need to swap. Okay. 
at this moment we have the next hip and now we swap the number one the no the root no to the last one we swap these two okay and then this one is done so we set them aside now we continue doing the hip hip five function okay four and eight need to swap and then these two need to swap and that's it and then the, we need now we swap the big largest number to the to the last uh, leaf the last child yeah. And now we know eight is done, so we set them aside. Okay, now it's, it's a tree, still a tree. Now we need to continue hippify. Okay, and now seven is on top. We need to swap with the, the last car here. And then we know it's done, so we set them aside. Okay, now we continue doing the hippify. Now we hippify this. Two, swap these two, and then uh, swap these two, and then six done. And move here. Okay. Now we uh, continue hippify and swap these two, and then uh, swap these two, and then swap these two, and then uh, it's all done. So it's all sorted. This is called uh, hip sort. Next week I'm going to talk about quiz sort. The same uh, is n log n. So it's a uh, kind of quick. Uh, sorting uh, algorithm. Quick, so I think it's the most complicated one to understand. That's why I use this uh, gray card to explain what is the quick sort. Okay. Quick sort, we need a uh, we need a uh, pivot point. I'm going to use the last car as the pivot and we're going to have I here and then we're going to uh, sort them okay so it's a six eight less than eight no so we do nothing yes uh, less than six yes we need to swap so swap to here so it's, it's still the same okay so we have now we increment uh, this i to here now we are uh, sort from here is a is less than six yes we do nothing two less than six we do nothing seven is great is not less than six so we need to swap swap what swap to this one to i this is j and this is i so we swap them okay but that's why we increment this i to here and then we compare from here to less than six yes we do nothing six uh, now eight less than six yes we need to swap so what with what swap with the i so we swap okay but that's why you increment i and then we uh, compare again is a is less than six. Yes, we do nothing. Yes, do nothing. This is greater than this one, so we need to swap. Swap ten with two. Okay. Now increment here. Since we have we the uh, the j reach here, so we know there's no uh, compare here. So now we need to move the pivot point with i swap these two okay at this moment everything everything on uh, oh, okay and I think I sorted uh, the wrong way I sorted uh, from greater to the smaller okay that's fine so everything uh, on the left to uh, on the left of pp points greater than six so, we, so and then everything uh, less than this side on this side is less than six. So six we don't need to sort anymore and then we just need to sort this side and this side. And it's called a recursive function. Okay. 
So uh, we uh, need to sort. Uh, this is sorted already. So oh no, the, we're going to sort from s greater to, to small. So we need to uh, sort them. Okay, the pivot point is to come here, and then we uh, need to swap them. This same is already sorted. So this is called crystal. Um, two idea. One is called uh, pivot point. The other one is called partition. When you partition, you don't care about the sequence. You just put the uh, smaller number on one side, larger number on the other side. And then uh, recursive function will do the rest for you. And now the last one, I'm going to talk about the binary search. Binary search is that uh, uh, array is already sorted. And then we try to find a number. Okay. We say we try to find uh, uh, number seven. Okay. So we uh, find the midpoint first. Okay. Is uh, six less than seven? Uh, yes. So we come to this side. We we don't need to search this side. So every time we cut the search into half. And now. Um, now the uh, middle point is here, okay, and then I uh, will say it's eight uh, greater than seven, and then say yes, and then I uh, will just move here, and then we find the one, the value we want. Well, I hope you understand uh, video. If you have questions, uh, just let me know. Bye.